Tyrese Halliburton is being considered a better player now than LaMelo Ball. Yes, the one-time rookie of the year, the fourth youngest all-star since Kobe Bryant. Tyrese Halliburton has vaulted over LaMelo Ball. We're going to ask the question here on this video, how in the did it happen? In the lead! If after the 2020 season, 2020-2021, LaMelo Ball had a chance to jump into a time machine and be told going into year four, once that he arrived in the future, that somebody from the 2020 draft class would be considered a better prospect and a better player in that class. LaMelo's a, a highly confident guy, so I would doubt that he would even admit that anyone was better or being considered to be better. But if he did say it, the only name he could see from that 2020 self would possibly be Anthony Edwards. No one in their right mind who is objective and fair coming out of the 2021 season, that 2020, 2021 season, that 2021, 2022 season, would say that LaMelo Ball is behind Tyrese Halliburton. What has happened that has shaken the foundation of where we thought the class of 2020 rankings were? I think it's a combination of things. It's a combination of many things. One, the most important one, being LaMelo took an alternate path to the NBA and he is a very, very polarizing figure, him along with his father. Because of that, there were people that picked against him even making the league. There are people that doubted him and counted him out when it came to being a substantial, let alone a superstar level NBA talent or a star level NBA talent. A lot of pundits and media that vote on the all-star and vote on all NBA, their reputations are only as good as their pen can predict. So if they keep predicting that a guy is going to be a bust or the biggest bust ever, and he comes through and makes them look stupid, if this becomes a trend, then they lose all their credibility because people lose faith in their ability to analyze and to rate talent. So even if a guy, we're seeing it with Jalen Hurts in the NFL now, just led him to a Super Bowl, the Philadelphia Eagles to the Super Bowl last year. And now this year, you're starting to hear doubters say that he's overrated. When you have made a prediction about a guy, or you prognosticated about a guy's talent, and he proves you wrong, it is a hit to the ego. A lot of these guys that have vaulted Tyrese Halliburton over LaMelo Ball is simply a case of you were wrong about LaMelo to begin with. And you're holding on to the fact with injuries, you're holding on to the fact that he's in a hidden market on, on a very, uh, at the time last year especially, a very depleted roster, no Miles Bridges, uh, starters in and out of the lineup all year. Himself, he was in and out of the lineup all year. You're holding on to those facts and hoping that you can gaslight the general public or the casual basketball fan and just lean on the second thing that I'm going to talk about, the actual numbers. The reason why the casual fan says that Tyrese Halliburton is a better player than LaMelo Ball, they're looking at the raw numbers when it comes to efficiency. Now, any other time in basketball, this is what's weird when it comes to a polarizing figure like LaMelo Ball. Any other time in basketball, the only thing that seems to matter is the points per game and the highlight reel plays that come with it. Anthony Edwards is a less uh, consistent and efficient player than both Tyrese Halliburton and LaMelo Ball put together. But most people would say, most casuals would say, that Anthony Edwards is a better player than LaMelo and Tyrese Halliburton put together. But when it comes to the argument with LaMelo Ball and Tyrese Halliburton, now people want to go deeper into the numbers. And instead of looking at the points per game averages and the rebounds and the assists uh, over the years, people just start to focus on the fact that Tyrese is more efficient. 
we can really do a more serious breakdown on this and we will in the lit court make sure you join the discord or the lit court the link is in the description i'll have a film session with rev with lamella ball versus tyrese halliburton and i'll be breaking down why those efficiency numbers are different why their styles of play are extremely different and why with when it comes to efficiency with lamella ball that is not the biggest parameter to test the status of his game and when it comes to efficiency with tyrese halliburton that's not the biggest parameter to um project his impact as a future starter and the star of the Indiana Pacers. Um, LaMelo Ball's game, and you guys will know when I'm going to do that uh, that film session, I'll drop a post on Twitter and a post on the community post on YouTube. Make sure you share this video, like the video, subscribe, and become a member of the channel. Also, become a member of the Lit Court so that you can be a part of the film sessions that we're having in this offseason. But... LaMelo and Tyrese have two different styles of play. LaMelo is a lot more erratic, a lot more creative, a lot more self-sufficient when it comes to getting his own shot, finding his own shot, getting other guys' shots. Tyrese Halliburton, to me, is the more intelligent, the more... Um, and that doesn't mean he has a higher basketball IQ. He's a more intelligent, opportunistic player that takes what the defense gives him. Defenses are not keying in consistently on Tyrese Halliburton yet. Because honestly, if you're a player and if you're a hooper, you know you know. Tyrese is not a guy you're going in the game to stop offensively as far as his creation. You want to make sure that he is not able to distribute the ball and be a good uh, game manager. That's what I call Tyrese Halliburton. He's a game manager. Uh, you want to make sure that he is 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 under control when it comes to game management. You know what I'm saying? Uh, with Lamelo, you want to make sure that Lamelo is not getting off offensively, creating, getting other guys going, creating when nothing is there. A lot of the reads, and you'll see in that film session, that Tyrese Halliburton makes are just reads that have become extinct in basketball because the point guard position per Russell Westbrook and guys like that, uh, Derrick Rose, um, the point guard position changed where it went from a distributor of the basketball, a guy that is there to set the offense and get everybody else going, to score first point guards. So now when a guy like Tyrese comes around, and this is the hypocrisy, that they, they didn't give this leeway to Lonzo Ball, the hypocrisy is once Tyrese does it, which is get people involved, which is just the basics of point guard play, it's so strange in the NBA that when he does it, it's a revolution. But a lot of these passes that we've seen this summer from his time in Team USA have been passes that we've seen LaMelo Ball doing since his rookie year. But for some reason, when LaMelo does it, it's always oh, he's, he's a fun player. He's not a winning player. Even though if you break down the numbers, LaMelo has been the only one out of these two guys that has led his team to two playing games. LaMelo was the only guy out of these two guys that before injury his rookie year took his team to the fourth rated team in the East late in a playoff push before he got hurt his rookie year. LaMelo's the only one that has actually contributed to actually winning. To me, the roster that Tyrese Halliburton inherited in Indiana with all that rookie talent, with Miles Turner, with Buddy Hill, and all of that depth on the front line, Isaiah Jackson and all of the likes like this, has a better roster than LaMelo Ball had. Tyrese Halliburton didn't play with Cody Zeller. Tyrese Halliburton didn't play with Bismarck Biombo. Ty Ty Tyrese Halliburton didn't play with Mason Plumley. So he hasn't had to make more with less when LaMelo has always had to make less with more. But y'all let me know what y'all think down there in the comment section below. Is Tyrese Halliburton smoking LaMelo Ball or is LaMelo Ball, uh, is LaMelo Ball levels, I fear? Let me know. Also, another thing that is detrimental for LaMelo, Tyrese Halliburton has been chosen by Team USA. He's representing Team USA right now. This is getting him more exposure. To me, Tyrese Halliburton's personality is a lot more docile. It's a lot more safe when it comes to corporate America. He's a lot more acceptable when it comes to uh, 
you know, a certain demographic. So that plays a part as well. LaMelo is very reserved. He's very distant. He's out of the camera right now. He's not He's not all in everyone's faces. And, and, and his answers are, are, are guarded. And, and his answers are very reserved. Tyrese plays the part of the Carlton. It is what it is. Y'all let me know down in the comment section below. What do y'all think? Is... Tyrese the guy that's LaMelo clear. Share this video, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, you're the mighty, mighty lit one.